हेलो हेलो दिव्यांगी एंड हेबा गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू गुड इवनिंग ओके डू वन थिंग ओके नो प्रॉब्लम काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन वी आर डिस्कसिंग so once again i want to tell you what is friction so suppose this is one block and on this block there is another block okay on this block there is another block suppose this m2 is moving in this direction or you can say this m2 have the tendency of moving in this direction so friction force friction force will be there in between m2 and m1 so as this m2 is moving with respect to m1 with respect to m1 i am saying with respect to m1 means you are at m1 means you are observing m2 from m1 so you will see that this m2 is moving in this direction so there is a friction force so friction force there will be a friction force on m2 and i have told you friction force acts tangentially to the surface so there will be the some friction force on m2 due to m1 now from different perspective from different perspective if you are here on the block m2 and this m2 is moving in this direction so it will look like that this mass m1 is going in the backward direction in the backward direction so this m1 is going in backward direction with respect to this m2 remember this point this is very important point so what will happen this surface will have the friction in this direction means you can say there is a friction force due to uh, there is a friction force on on mass m1 due to mass m2 so friction force or no matter any force always comes in pair gravitational force friction force electromagnetic force you will study in 12th class forces always comes in pairs told by newton's third law so what is the friction simply opposes the relative motion and acts tending tangentially to the surface acts tangentially to the surface so kinetic friction uh, we are discussing hello joylin so kinetic friction we are discussing we were discussing okay sir uh, okay so kinetic friction i am discussing okay now focus on this kinetic there are two types of friction uh, i think i have told you so basically first what is friction just once more uh, revising friction opposes the relative motion simple acts tangentially along the contact this is tangential tangentially along the contact okay so i will represent the friction force with small f okay so this example told you now what is static friction is this is the friction comes into play when the body have the tendency of motion not actually not actually the body is is, is in motion but the, but have the tendency tendency of motion suppose this is the phone and i am applying a force is this phone moving no this phone or this object do not have the motion but i am applying a force i have applied a force this do not have the friction why this is not moving because of the friction between my hand and the surface of this phone i have applied the force this is not moving at this point also there will be a friction force at this point also there will be a friction force and that friction force is known as the static friction force 
if someone is saying now will there be a friction force no now there, there will be no friction force suppose i have applied some force now there will be some friction force because this uh, object on applying the force will have tendency of motion will have the tendency of motion arises when there is a tendency of relative motion if i am saying motion means relative motion in actual the object will be at rest you know kinetic friction is very very easy to explain when suppose if this object is moving on my hand then the friction will be kinetic friction during the motion there will be the kinetic friction so now uh, after that i have told you the kinetic friction so kinetic friction arises due to relative motion between two surfaces and experimentally it is found that this kinetic friction is constant and this kinetic friction is directly proportional to the normal reaction very very important point very very important this kinetic friction is directly proportional to the normal reaction so basically remove the proportionality sign you will get this mu k what is mu k coefficient of kinetic friction this is also constant and this coefficient of kinetic friction depends upon the surfaces in contact in contact means the force of friction uh, if if my hand is moving or this phone or the object is moving on my hand the value of the coefficient of kinetic friction will be different if this is moving on this ball then the value of the kinetic friction will be different and what is the direction opposite the relative motion and x tending tangentially so depends upon the surfaces in contact okay Op uh, what is the direction opposite the relative motion and x tangentially you can add one point x tangentially to the surface so i have discussed this in the last class one question also we have solved now we will solve this question and basically these all are question based on the kinetic friction means here we are assuming that the body is in motion we are assuming the body is in motion after that i will explain you the static friction so now this question we have to solve this is one block of 4 kg a force is acting in this direction force is acting in this direction and this angle is 45 degree coefficient of kinetic friction is given as 0.3 we have to find the normal reaction we have to find the kinetic friction force we have to find the acceleration of the block assume the block is in motion one by one we will solve step by step we will solve okay now there will be a gravitational force or weight of this block 4g in downward direction there will be the normal reaction also there will be the normal reaction on this block normal reaction on this block okay and here is the force now this is the force so now you can take the component of this force in this direction the component of the force will be this is this force is 10 root 2 the component of the force in this direction will be 10 root 2 10 root 2 cos 45 10 root 2 cos 45 and in this direction the component of the force will be 10 root 2 sin 45 remember cos 45 is equal to 1 by root 2 is equal to sin 45 degree sin 45 degree now see the total forces on the block so this is your block this is the block one force is 4g another is the normal reaction one force acting in this direction that is 10 root 2 cos 45 and this is 10 root 
and cos 45 is 1 by root 2 so it will be 10 newton so 10 newton force is acting in this direction this will also be 10 newton okay when you will solve it so here is another force of 10 newton and this block is moving now so in this direction so there will be a kinetic friction force in this direction there will be a kinetic friction force which acts tangentially fk there will be a kinetic friction force in this direction basically this is the point object i have told you to draw the free body diagram we will consider the point object okay we will consider this block as a point by the way now there is no motion in this direction in vertical direction there is no motion so summation of all the forces in vertical direction will be zero so you can write n plus 10 n plus 10 minus 4g is equal to zero take g is equal to 10 meter per second square so normal reaction you can find from here this will be this will be 4g minus 10 so 4 into 10 minus 10 this will be 30 newton what is the normal reaction 30 newton this time normal reaction is not equal to mg if you will say that normal reaction is equal to mg then what is m m is 4 g is 10 for that normal reaction should be 40 newton that is wrong here normal reaction will be this now kinetic friction force this this value of the force kinetic friction of the force kinetic friction force will be coefficient of kinetic friction into normal reaction this is the formula coefficient of kinetic friction is given as 0 0.3 and normal reaction is 30 so this will become 9 newton okay this will become 9 newton huh? 9 newton so basically what is the value of the kinetic friction force 9 newton so in this direction there is a force of 9 newton now this block will have the acceleration in this direction now we will see in the horizontal direction what is the net force net force in the horizontal will be horizontal direction will be 10 minus 9 is equal to mass into acceleration what is mass 4 into acceleration so this will equal to 1 is equal to 4 into a the acceleration of the block will be 1 by 4 or 0 0.25 meter per second square Okay. Now we will discuss the static friction. So basically, static friction acts when the body is at rest. So static friction I will represent is small f suffix s. Uh, basically, we know what is the work of the friction opposes that motion. So static friction opposes the tendency of relative motion. Opposes the tendency. In the starting, I have told you tendency of the relative motion it is variable or self adjusting friction force kinetic friction is a constant force but this is a variable force or you can say self adjusting force what is the meaning of this see this is the uh, object this is the object and i have applied a force of 5 uh, newton and this object does not move so this time the friction force is self adjusting First, I have applied 5 Newton force. 5 Newton force I have applied. This object does not move. Means the kind, uh, static friction force in this case will be the applied force. That is 5 Newton. Suppose another time I have applied I have applied 10 Newton. Now also this block, uh, this body is not moving. If I am applying 10 Newton, then in this case the static friction force will become 10 Newton. If I am applying 15 Newton and this object is not moving, then 15 Newton will be the 
static friction force there will be a value of applied force for which for which this body will move now this is moving and that force is known as the limiting value of the friction force that is known as the limiting value of the friction force so basically uh, static friction force static friction force can be zero if there is no force on the body static friction force can be maximum static friction force that is that maximum static friction force will be the limiting friction force what is the limiting friction force the value of the external force for which the body starts motion okay and limiting friction force is given by coefficient of static friction into normal reaction so mu s is the coefficient of static friction and remember what one point the body will only move if applied force is greater than the limiting limiting friction force or limiting friction force you can say maximum static friction force see once again this is the uh, object and applied force not moving again increase some uh, i have increased some force not moving so there will be some value of external force for which this object will move suppose 50 newton at 50 newton this body is moving okay so that 50 newton will be the limiting value of the static friction force okay that limiting got it dibyangi and joylin and hiba yes sir yes yes sir okay just uh, just a minute i'm just asking one question to all of you uh this is some surface and this is the one block here a force of 10 newton i am applying here a force of 10 newton i am applying and this mass is of i think uh, 1 kg mass and coefficient of friction static friction is given as 0. Point. Basically, this force is five newton. Coefficient of friction is one, zero point one, between the surfaces. So I am asking, what is the friction force? What is the friction force? Can anyone tell me what will be the friction force? can take the help of these notes just a minute now can anyone tell me what will be the friction force okay see ya the answer of the question we will get after this question this is the question see all of you see this question this is a block this is a block of 4 kg 4 kg block and a force of 6 newton is applied on this block this is the surface and the coefficient of static friction uh, between the surface and the block is 0.2 we have to find the friction force and the acceleration the friction force and the acceleration first we will see whether this force is able to move this object or not see in this case i have applied a force i have applied a force but this object is not moving so it is not always necessary that if you are applying a force and body is moving okay 
सो हेयर वी हैव टू चेक द लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन फोर्स वॉट इज द लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन फोर्स म्यू एस इन टू एन सो वॉट विल बी द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन हेयर इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन देयर विल बी फोर जी एंड नॉर्मल रिएक्शन विल बी लाइक दिस ओके सो इन वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन देयर इज नो मोशन सो नॉर्मल रिएक्शन इज बिकम्स फोर जी फोर जी मीन्स फोर इंटू टेन दट इज फोर्टी न्यूटन Now limiting value of the friction limit. What is the meaning of the limiting value of the friction? Maximum friction, maximum friction. This is this is the maximum static friction. Okay. So limiting value of the friction force will be mu s is zero point two. Normal reaction is forty. So it will become eight newton. Okay. So means the limiting value of the friction will be eight newton. Means. 8 newton force will be required 8 newton external force will be required to move this object so will this object move or not this object will not move because here the force is 6 newton here the force is 6 newton so this object will not move so you can say applied force less than the limiting value of the friction force or maximum static friction force so that is why you can say the object will not move the object will not move okay now they are asking what is the friction force remember that in if this is the case then the applied force becomes the friction force because static friction force is self adjustable okay so in this in this case Six newton force will be the friction force. Okay, so value of the friction force will be six newton. And what is the acceleration? As the body is not moving, rest so acceleration is equal to zero. Okay, so this question. Twenty newton now. Twenty newton applied. Twenty newton applied on four kg. We will see whether this block will move or not. Okay, so twenty newton applied in this direction. There will be four g. Normal reaction on this block in upward direction. So as there is no vertical motion, so normal reaction is equal to four d. Four g. Four into ten, that is forty newton. Normal reaction will be forty newton. First, calculate the limiting friction force. That is mu s into n. What is mu s? Zero point six. What is normal reaction? Forty. This will become twenty four newton. So this time. the limiting friction force is 40 newton but the applied force is 20 newton what is the value of limiting what, what is the meaning of the limiting friction force the maximum value of applied force so that the object will move in this case will the object move or not joylin in this case will the object will move or not sir it will not move very good not move because because Applied force, applied force less than the limiting value of the friction force. So friction, what will be the actually what will be the value of the friction force then on on this block? Twenty four newton. What will be the friction forces I am asking? Twenty newton. Very good, twenty newton. Why twenty newton? Because you have applied a force of twenty newton. This friction force is the I have calculated. This is the maximum value of the friction force. Maximum value of the friction force. What does it mean? It means that to make the object in motion or to move the object, this much at least this much amount of force you have to apply. 
This is not the value of the friction force on this block. Block. This is the maximum value, maximum possible value of the friction. You have to cross this maximum possible value of the static friction. Then your object will move. Here is twenty newton, but the opposite op opposition force, or you can say, the limiting friction will be twenty four newton. Okay. So that is why this object object is not moving. Okay. So. you can see here the body will only move if applied force is greater than the limiting force this condition you have to check okay this condition you have to check so here your friction force is self adjustable what friction force static friction force is self adjustable so it will become 20 newton so don't say that friction force on this block is 24 newton this is not that friction force this is the maximum value of the friction force this friction force we are calculating to analyze whether the object will move or not if this applied value will be greater than this then the object will move otherwise the object will remain at rest okay one more question i think there is a requirement of one more question this is a block of 2 kg a force is applied on this block 20 newton this is the surface okay and uh, coefficient of static friction is given as 0.6 coefficient of kinetic friction is given as 0.4 and we have to find friction force you have to find the friction force and acceleration of the block okay all of you just try this question and tell me the answer try this question by yourself apply your mind just try take your time and try this question for you have first you have to check whether this object will move or not if the object is moving then i have told you what type of friction will be there if object is at rest then i have told you what type of friction will be there
Okay, <clears throat> now see. See all of you here. I am solving. This is a block, na? Uh, who told the answer? The Bianchi kinetic friction is eight newton, and acceleration is six meter per second square. Okay. Okay. Now, if uh, those who have completed, uh, you can check your answer. Okay. See all of you, please. The uh, Bianchi, Hiva, and Joelin, see on the screen. First thing, what do you have to do? This is a twenty uh, two kg block. Placed on the surface. This is the surface, and a force of twenty newton is applied in this direction. So, what can be the possibilities? Don't uh, okay. What can can be the possibilities? This uh, object will move. Either this object will move, or this object will not. There cannot be any other possibility. Okay. So, first we will check whether this object will move or not. For that, what we will do? We will calculate the limiting friction force. Limiting friction force. Limiting friction force means the I have told you many times. Limiting friction force is given by mu s into n. Okay. For that, we will calculate the normal reaction. For the normal reaction, what we will do? Here will be mg. Mg is two into g. Here will be the normal reaction on the block. now as there is no motion in the vertical direction so you can say normal reaction will be equal to 2g and 2g means 2 into 10 g i am always taking 10 so normal reaction you can say will be 20 newton so limiting friction force will be mu s into n what is mu s 0.6 this is 20 normal reaction so limiting friction force will be 7.2 uh, this will be 10 uh, not 7.2 sorry this will be 12 newton now see applied force what is applied force applied force is 12 newton limiting friction force is sorry applied force is 20 newton and limiting friction force is 12 newton means this time this applied force has crossed the limiting friction force means this object will move will move this object will move and remember one point this object is moving this object is moving during the motion which type of friction will be there kinetic friction will be there so calculate the kinetic friction force that is coefficient of kinetic friction into normal reaction what is the coefficient of kinetic friction 0.4 0.4 what is the normal reaction 20 so you will get 8 newton very good joylin uh, dibyange 8 newton kinetic friction what is this kinetic friction force this will be the actual friction force okay this will be the actual friction force fk that is 8 newton 8 newton now you can find the acceleration acceleration means this this here in this direction is 20 newton in this direction is 8 newton in this direction the force is uh, greater acceleration will be in this direction now we can find the acceler acceleration is equal to net force divided by net mass acceleration you can find net force is 20 minus 8 20 in this direction minus 8 20 minus 8 means 2 20 minus 8 is equal to mass mass is 2 kg i think mass is 2 kg acceleration you want to find acceleration you want to find 20 minus 8 is 12 is equal to 2a so acceleration will be 6 meter per second square so in this way you have to solve the uh, question okay good devyangi okay to all of you i am saying just try these questions by yourself okay and very easy uh, questions these are very very easy question but you have to remember what you have to do at what time 
Joelin, got it? Yes, sir. If you have any doubt, then you can ask me. Limiting friction force, I have calculated here to check whether uh, this block will be in motion or in rest. If the block is in motion, then there will be the kinetic friction force. After that, uh, there is a graph between the friction force and the applied force. This is a very simple graph. Means, I will explain this with the help of this. Suppose this is a block of mass M and here the limiting friction force is FL. For this surface, the limiting friction force is FL. Suppose I have applied a force of uh, F1. F1, na? I have applied a force F1 on this mass and this mass is not moving. So in that case, the friction force will be the applied force F1. Okay, first time I have applied F1. Please see, this is very important point. After that, I have applied a force F2, which is greater than F1. After applying F2, this M1 is not moving. So what will be the friction force? This time the friction force will change and will equal to F2. Suppose third time I have applied a force which is, which is greater than F2, that is F3. F3. Then also this uh, block is not moving. So what will be the friction force on the block? That is F3. Fourth time I have applied a force F4. And this F4 is equal to the limiting friction force. This F4, what is F4? F4 is, becomes equal to the limiting friction force. Now, now this force and limiting friction force are equal. Means this mass is at the verge of motion. At the verge of motion. If you will apply a force F5, which is greater than F4, this time means you are applying a force F5, which is greater than the limiting friction force, means this time your block will start moving. And when the motion starts, when the motion starts, when the motion starts, what types of friction will be there? Kinetic friction will be there and this kinetic friction is constant. So this graph says that this is the friction force and this is the applied force. Suppose you have applied here one force and the block not moved. So here will be the your friction force. Okay, here will be your friction force. You have applied another force block not move, then here will be your friction force. Now you have applied a force, you have applied a force which is equal to that of this friction, uh, limiting friction force. Okay? Limiting friction force. And after that, what happens? The body will be in motion after this point. And suddenly, the body will start motion. And suddenly there will be a reduction in the friction force because kinetic friction force is less than the less than the static friction force and the force become constant because the kinetic fric friction force is constant. Okay. Okay. So basically what I want to tell you is that From here to here, basically this angle will be 45 degree because uh, applied force is equal to friction force from this point to this point. So from this point to this point, the body will be in rest. And what type of friction force will be there? Static friction force. Okay. And from here to here, the body will be in motion. The body will be in motion. 
and what type of friction force will be there kinetic friction force will be there and this will be the maximum value of the friction force static friction force that is the limiting friction force okay another third point cause of the friction very simple take a microscope see any object you will find this type of structure on the base okay if i am watching this bottle with microscope so there are some irregularities in the surface with a microscope so two surfaces due to the irregularities two sur due to the irregularities if suppose this surface is moving on this surface and we know that my on the microscopic level if we will see there will be the irregularity so due to these irregularities there are rupturing of uh, these surfaces and due to that there will be the force of hindrance of motion and that result to into the uh, friction force means due to the basically you can say what is the cause of the friction force at at microscopic level if we will see there will be the irregularities of surface and when there is a relative motion then due to these irregularities a opposite force will be there and that uh, that is the friction force what is the cause of the friction irregularities of surface simple okay now see this question okay if you want to note down then note otherwise okay note down so oh, this i think have completed okay note down from here because i have told you that day to take the screenshot so now note down again so basically these questions are based on the kinetic friction here we have assumed that the body is already in motion friction is decreases because when suddenly what happens suppose this is the uh, body on my uh, hand okay you are applying force 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 again and again again and when this value becomes the limiting value okay this body will ready to move and when this body this body will suddenly move na and when this body suddenly move suddenly there will be the kinetic friction and limiting friction is greater than the kinetic friction that is why got it dipyangi yes sir the body will suddenly move suddenly so suddenly there is a drop in the friction force why because at the motion there is a kinetic friction force and kinetic friction force is less than the static friction force okay note down this so it does not means that if you are applying a force the body will move if that force will be greater than the limiting value of the friction force or you can say maximum value of the static friction force then only the weight body will move and if the body will move then there will be no static friction there will be then kinetic friction and kinetic friction is less than the static friction and what is the cause of the friction irregularities in surface
uh, scroll down all of you uh, hiba Joylin? Yes, sir. From the yellow color, this is the solution part, okay? So accept this G value. This will be given in your question. And if uh, the examiner is not giving G is equal to 10, then he will give 9.8. Accordingly, you can solve the question. Ask me to scroll down when completed. Done. Okay. Uh, Joylin, completed. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dibyangi, you can just write D. Uh, Joylin, Dibyangi, and Hiva, you can just write D for done. Okay. It will save your time. So, completed this part and now write down this. Now, you can uh, get the answer of this also. Static friction. Just a minute. So, a static friction value of the static friction force can be zero. When zero, when there is no force, can be maximum limiting friction value. That is coefficient of uh, static friction multiplied by the normal reaction. In case of in case of calculating the friction force, normal reaction to calculate the normal reaction is very important part.
ओके फाइव न्यूटन ओके फाइव न्यूटन डन ओके सो दिस इज मू एस इन टू एन राइट ओके नो प्रॉब्लम टू मूविंग दिस यू कैन नाउ डू दिस कंप्लीटेड यस सर यू एंड जॉइन इन कंप्लीटेड आई थिंक सो यस सर राइट ऑन दिस Uh, just one thing na here i have written a normal reaction like this so don't think na this normal reaction na is like this if i am writing normal reaction like this this is also correct if i am writing the normal reaction like this this will be also correct if i am writing the normal reaction like this this will be also correct because we can this is this is a vector quantity and we can just slide the vectors like this okay we can take down the vectors like this and basically this is uh, this 4 kg we are considering a point mass so there is no problem okay write down now uh dibyangi uh do you know uh, there is a exam in india neat exam and je exam yes sir so you are from india or some or from where yes sir india uttar pradesh and uh, hiba yes sir uh you are from india yeah so do you know about the neat and je exam yes sir but and join in yeah yes yeah, sir okay okay
हेलो मैथ्यू हेलो सर सॉरी चंद्रा इज दिस योर क्लास ना क्लास टाइमिंग ओके ओके बेटा सो जस्ट राइट डाउन पास बिकॉज अगर स्टूडेंट्स हैव क्लासेस ऑन दिस आईडी डन सर scroll down join in and yes sir okay mathu just i am leaving uh, give me just 2 or 3 minutes uh, okay sir write down ओके स्कॉल सो इफ देयर इज अ मोशन सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट द एक्सेलरेशन ओके व्हाट इज द एक्सेलरेशन नेट फोर्स डिवाइडेड बाय नेट मास completely all of you <coughs> yes sir yes sir matthew hello yes sir uh, your class timing is after half an hour oh okay sir i'll yeah. join after that oh completed now all of you should i scroll up yes. if you want if anyone has not uh, written then i can scroll up also so i should move na huh? or i should scroll up okay so draw this graph this is just for your understanding remember uh, static friction force is a self adjusting force it becomes equal to the applied force when the body is in rest so i am writing here one more thing here also the body rest here also the body at rest here also the body at rest here the body is at the verge of motion verge of motion here the body is in motion so when the body is in motion there will be the kinetic friction and kinetic friction is constant and less than the static friction that is why see here there is a drop in this curve
ओके डन जॉयलिन एंड हेवा कंप्लीटेड हेवा कंप्लीटेड और यू आर राइटिंग फ्रिक्शन एंड ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम एंड राइट दिस ओनली ओके कॉज ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन so i think one more question we should do okay so can i take 5 to 10 minutes more if you want then it's okay yes sir okay if you have to go somewhere else and some other work then we will discuss in the next class okay so i think i, I should take okay so have, have you completed this na all of you so one very good question i will take this question appeared i think in neat examination and i don't know type of competitive examination see this question this is a block this is a block of mass 1 kg see this question very good question this is a block of mass 1 kg and a 40 newton force is applied like you can say this is a block and i have applied a force like this this is a block on some surface this is a surface my hand assume my hand as a surface there is a block and i have applied some force oh there is oh. i have applied some force like this so this block is in rest right now suppose if this force will decrease this this phone will try to go in downward direction try to go in downward direction na try to go in downward direction na so what is the role of the friction friction opposes the relative motion and in which direction the motion is happening in downward direction so the friction force should be in the upward direction so now we will see what are the forces on this block 1 kg block on this 1 kg block on this 1 kg block there will be one normal reaction by this surface and what will be the normal reaction what will be the normal reaction like this normal reaction will be like this this time remember normal reaction is always between the surfaces this is the surface and this is a block and i have told you normal reaction between the surfaces is perpendicular to the surface so this is the normal reaction this time and here in this direction there will be mg there will be mg okay so now draw a bd for this block so on this block a force of normal reaction is this okay i have drawn here like this na so i can draw normal reaction like this direction is important here is a normal reaction here is a force of 40 newton mg mg means 1 into g means 10 newton force in downward direction mg means 1 into 10 g i have taken 10 meter per second square 10 newton okay now see this block has the tendency to go in downward direction so force of friction will be acted in this direction acted in this direction tangentially remember this point here will be the friction force but i don't know what is the value of the friction force and i don't know what type of friction force it can be kinetic also it can be static friction force also for that we will calculate the limiting value of the friction force 
लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन फोर्स इज गिवन बाय म्यू एस इन टू एन वट इज म्यू एस सी हियर म्यू एस इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाउ नॉर्मल रिएक्शन वॉट विल बी द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन नॉर्मल रिएक्शन वॉट विल बी द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन विल देयर बी एनी मोशन इन दिस डायरेक्शन नो विल देयर बी एनी मोशन इन दिस डायरेक्शन यू कैन सी हेयर दिस इज द फोर्स ऑफ लाइट so if there will be a motion then there will be a motion in downward direction not in this direction because this is a wall this wall is fixed this phone cannot penetrate the wall okay this is common sense so basically there is no motion in this direction so you can say that net force in this direction is equal to zero then you will get normal reaction is equal to 40 newton so here you will write 40 what you will get 12 newton limiting friction force is 12 newton limiting friction force is 12 newton and applied force is 10 newton applied force is equal to 10 newton limiting friction force is 12 newton will this block move or will this block remain at rest dibyangi the main address okay very good why because the limiting friction force is greater than applied friction force so block will remain at at rest block will remain at rest what they are asking friction force what will be the value of the friction force now join in tell what will be the value of the friction force the value of the friction force will be 10 newton because static friction force is self adjustable friction okay 10 newton applied force becomes equal to the friction force okay this will be 10 newton and they are asking what will be the acceleration if the body is at rest there will be no acceleration okay note down this question very good question note down all of you so in the next lecture i think we will finish the friction we'll have wage problem acceleration is zero why because block is not moving that is why the acceleration is zero and friction force here is 10 newton why because here limiting friction force is greater than the applied force and if this is the case then applied force becomes the static friction force okay if you have completed then we will meet in the next class thank you sir okay okay
Shiva, if you have any doubt, then you can ask me. No, sir, I'm just copying. Okay, okay, no problem. Take your time. So revise your notes properly. <laughs> 